Oh, hell a beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you who are new here, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence with compliments by way of fragrance. Yes, we use fragrances to do that. Today, I have something special for you guys and girls out there tuning in. In, but make sure you stay locked into this thing because I'm going to hook you up with a giveaway as well. Now, listen, some of the subscribers hit me up like, yo, B, shout out to you guys and girls out there on Snapchat and Instagram that hit me up and told me about this thing here. Inside of this, ooh, almost dropped it. Inside of this bag holds the new release from Barreto in collaboration with Travis Scott. Now, if you're not familiar with Travis Scott, it really seems that everything he touches these days turns to gold, or at least something where the consumers really, really want it. I mean, he has some endorsement deals with Nike, McDonald's, General Mills, and obviously now with Barreto. So we're gonna see what we have here inside of this bag, because I know you're tired of hearing me ramp. Now I have to mention that there were some weird notes in this and because of that I do not have any idea what this thing will smell like. It really seems like they tried to really go far out on this and make it seem like it was something, well, super special or out of this world, shall I say. Some of the notes in here are really centered around space. I'm not sure how we're going to bottle that up, but, but we'll see. Now the name of the fragrance is called Space Rage, all right? And it's supposed to be the scent of the supernova, all right? So we'll see. Now what you'll notice on the box here is this signature Cactus Jack logo, which really lets you know that you got the real deal. Well, at least that's what it means to me, so we'll see. All right, man, so Space Rage by Bye Bye Rado and Travis Scott. All right, man, so the bottle presentation under this is almost like a galaxy. You got this bluish purple tone that kind of just goes throughout the bottle, but that doesn't really matter. What we care about is what this thing smells like, all right? Now, if you're familiar with any of the Barreto bottles, then this looks exactly the same in terms of the actual bottle design. So this is the Travis Scott Space Rage, and this is one of the favorites there. Gypsy Water 100ml for 100ml, it looks exactly the same. Now, if you were just to look at this Space Rage bottle, you would think that the name is carved into the bottle here. It really looks like someone just sat there and etched it in but it actually feels like maybe some white paint or something that they've covered this bottle with. I don't think it'll come off. He has a signature here as well, but what we really wanna know is what this thing smells like. Let me see if there's anything else before I go on to the smell, because I know that's what you're waiting for. Now within all of the Barreto bottles, at least any of the packages that I've picked up, you have this card on the inside, which gives you a little bit of information about the fragrances, as I've stated, this one was different, all right? So let's see what this thing comes out as. And on the inside here, there's this little poster with this uh, writing in this almost scribble, very similar to this here. And it says, Rage Against the Dying of the Light. All right, so we'll see what this thing smells like. And there's also a spaceship or a space person here and a spaceship there as well. So I'm imagining this fragrance, Travis, is gonna be out of this world. Here is the moment of truth. Let me grab my handy dandy big beard business test strips and all right, boom, there we go. Hmm. Okay. Not bad, listen, now listen. I was not expecting this fragrance to be bad simply because I had the name of Barreto on it. If you know anything about Barreto, then you know that they do masterful scents and I'm a big fan of what they are producing. So, let's drop this one out. Now listen, I know some of you watching this video are not into fragrances, so you may not understand some of the stuff that I talk about here. So I'm gonna talk about the top of the fragrance, all right? That's gonna be the first spray. Talk about the heart, and I'm also gonna talk about the base of this fragrance, all right? And the heart is the middle, all right? The base is kind of just the end of this fragrance, the dry down. 
as we call it. Now on first spray of this fragrance, I get something that is definitely fruity. Also light, it has that signature Barreto lightness to it in my personal opinion. If you're a fan of Barreto, then you know what I'm talking about where they have this light, clean feel. And to me, this one isn't much different. In terms of the fragrance though, I definitely get some type of grapefruit in the top of this fragrance. Now, I know that they have some weird notes listed in terms of what this fragrance actually is supposed to smell like. And I think it's like cosmic dust and anti-something particles and the scent of supernova and a bunch of other stuff that really is hogwash and makes no sense <laughs> all right so if you uh pretty much want to know what they were going for with this fragrance is they wanted to recreate the scent of space or being out of this world but with this one here um i'm just going to tell you what i get because I, i've never been out of space before so there's that <laughs> all right now, in addition to that grapefruit that I'm picking up in this, I'm definitely picking up some grapefruit. I'm not sure if that's what it is. It's definitely not listed, but I think it's grapefruit in here. I'm also getting this pear feel. So to me, it gives this fresh, clean, and grapefruit gives off this almost dirty vibe. It's a bit bitter, so you get a little bit of bitterness in this scent. And then also I get this pear vibe in here to give me this juiciness, all right? Now, in addition to that, I'm definitely getting some type of floral notes in here as well. I'm not sure what the floral note would be, so, so I can't help you there, but I could definitely get this floral component to it. And I'm also getting some earthiness to this one as well as it begins to just die down a bit. Um, and again, like I said, I get this bitterness in the top and it's a bit gritty there, but it's a little bit different as it transitions where I think that the gritty, the earthiness from this fragrance, if you will, might come from like a Haitian vetiver or some type of vetiver or some type of musk or something of that nature. I'm not, I'm not sure, but that's what I get with this one here. There's also this woody component that comes along with it, but it's not super woody. Now, traditionally, when you think of fragrance stacks or fragrance compositions out there, it's not uncommon to see citrus, floral, heart, woody base when it comes to men's fragrances, where right? you have a a potent citrus you'll get a bit of floral and then you'll get a woody earthy masculine base or musky base to give it a more masculine feel and that's what i get with this scent but it doesn't lose the dna that you traditionally get with biradal fragrances and i think that that is a masterful portion in itself because well when you try to infuse two ideas together um, it can come off wrong or it can come off right and in my personal opinion this one was done Right now, a lot of celebrity fragrances out there um, go really directly to like discounters, all right? So discounters are great market fragrance boutiques out there, places where, you know, you pick up these fragrances for a discount. But as I already mentioned, anything Travis Scott touches at this point really much just turns to gold. He has like sponsorships with McDonald's, uh, I believe it's Xbox, maybe PlayStation. One or two, Xbox, PlayStation, Nike, obviously. And also I think he did something with General Mills with like a... Uh, Reese puffs or something like that then obviously now he has this fragrance from Barreto. now this fragrance from my understanding is sold out within a day and a 285 dollar price point it's not the cheapest fragrance out there and i don't believe that we're going to see this one discounters anytime soon and with most of the things that travis scott is a part of they do not restock so the only way you're going to get yourself your nose on this thing is really a few ways one you're going to be down to pay resale fees which means you're going to pay a little bit more than the fragrance is actually marketed for maybe a little bit more maybe a lot more or maybe you got this thing at the onset of it where you were able to pick this up upon release or you know you can uh do something by participate in this giveaway <laughs> yeah man participate in the giveaway i'm going to give away a full size decant of this fragrance maybe two i'm going to give away two full size decants of this fragrance because i have a lot of fragrances and i'm not going to wear all of this thing so i give away two five ml fragrance decants of this one so you can test this thing out and have it within your collection on your boy all you have to do is participate in the giveaway and i'll make it pretty simple all i actually do is like comment subscribe share this video and comment with where you share this video or anything else you want to as well and that would definitely help man share this video share it share it share it 
for your opportunity to get a 5ml decant of what is now sold out. I'm gonna call it Space Rage, <laughs> all right? Rage in space. To me, this thing is really good, man. Some of the notes in this thing break down to like uh, gas and, and other space particles. And I can see where this has this aroma or the scent bubble or cloud around it that would kind of go with that that vibe of of that gas but to me this is this is a really nice scent something that i wasn't really expecting from travis scott but again we all know to expect the unexpected so again man for my first impressions of this fragrance it's it's uh something that is is gritty it's earthy it's fresh it's manly for sure and I don't think that this thing is going to really um, offend anyone, which is, I think is another great thing Barreto does. None of the fragrances that I have from Barreto are offensive at all. Um, traditionally, as a stated man, you get like a bottle that looks like this, like so 100 ml bottle versus 100 ml bottle. Traditionally, you get something that looks clean, straight to the point here, but this one definitely is going to stand out on the shelf and give a little bit of conversation and things to talk about. I think it's a very stylish bottle, it looks good. Um, if you're going for that galaxy vibe and feel, it's definitely um, noticed within this bottle. The, the writing here on the bottle almost feels like it's etched in, but you can clearly see when you have it in person that it's not etched in, but it gives it that look that it's etched in there as well, but it feels like maybe it could have been etched in, but they filled it in, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, Really, really nice job, man. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed with this thing. Now, 285 bucks. Um, if if you're not into fragrances, you may not know. You may like, look, well, that's stupid, high, expensive. But biradal fragrances in themselves are going to go for, you know, upper 200 bucks anyway. So, you know, it's not anything out of line to what we come to expect with Barreto. All in all, very happy with the fragrance, man. I'm looking to give away, again, two 5ML decants. Just comment down below with where you shared this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. And definitely come back one week from today and I will go ahead and list the winners and tag them so you can get your decants. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. That's my first impression of this thing, and I'll give you an official review once I get this thing out into the real world. But until then, hit the goddamn button.